Uh, let's see if we can get a little flank Aruski going. Oh, I hear some footsteps. Here's some footsteps. Dead silence, buddy. Oh, 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 oh! Moan of silence for everyone with no thumbs. What up? It's next gen and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 gameplay. And this time I'm using the VMP for a little bit, then I switched to the Weevil, and the reason for that is cause I just started So, you know, just let me tell you the whole story. Why not? So a few days ago, you know, I kept seeing people with dark matter. I was like, you know what? I want dark matter. So now I am actually going for dark matter. I'm going for all the diamond and gold and all the, I'm doing all the challenges for the guns. And right here I finish off the VMP. So I switch over to the Weevil to get the rest of the headshots with that. So yeah, that's why I start with the VMP and switch to the Weevil. But in this commentary, I'm gonna I know a lot of you probably by now might actually have dark matter or probably or might be even closer to it than I am. But in this video, I want to talk about some tips I've learned by myself of how to get Dark Matter pretty quick. I can get through multiple guns 100% in one day. And even this can work for Hero too. I'll give you some tips on how to get Hero Armor. Because Hero Armor isn't too hard to get. If you have the time, you can get it in just over a week. You can probably do a character a day. So I'm going to give you my tips for that. Starting with hero, because it's more simple. The just all you have to do is you go start as soon as you get on, pick a character, and get all your kills for it. It's all it's easy. You can probably it'll probably take about 30, 40 games to get your 800 kills, give or take, depending on you know when you have some really good games, some really bad ones. But yeah, if you get like 20 kills a game, it'll take about 40 games. That's really not as many as it sounds. You can get that done in a day. And that character is done. All you have to do is the challenges. And then some of those can sometimes be a little tough, but it won't take too long. So after you get all nine characters, I believe it's nine. Um, I know it's not ten. It has to be nine. It's nine characters, I'm pretty sure. So once you get all your kills for all the nine characters, you can go back, do the challenges, and I think you could probably do that. You can probably get the characters done about nine, ten days, and the challenges are done about another one or two days. So, like I said, a little bit over a week, and uh, yeah, it's not that hard really. It's just when I first started playing, I wasn't really going for any of it. I just figured I'd never get it, and then I thought about the things how fast I can really get this stuff done and I was like why not I'm gonna be playing all day anyway so I might as well be semi productive and why is he in that corner jeez every game I find someone who's just so terrified just absolutely horrified of to get in the battle they're just in the craziest of spots then dark matter is just it just seems like hell to do it seems like an ultimate grind and it really actually is a grind to get but if you do grind kill yourself so you can switch to the weevil class <laughs> but if you do grind you can get it uh i can't really put a certain time frame on it because getting headshots in this game really can be a struggle it's not it, I think it's really it really depends on your ability to get headshots and the modes you play but other than that you can get it rather quick not as long as it seems and all you have to what I say I recommend you play hardcore any mode of hardcore really an objective will help you kind of keep track of where the enemies are spawning so you it's less hard to play without your map the mini map but tdm wood is just fine that's actually usually what i play tdm uh but dom or capture the flag probably won't be too bad too bad of an option too bad of an option what the heck and then 
after that, I recommend that you put on a sight because the iron sights, even on good, even the good iron sights, it's just when you're aiming above everyone all the time, just the iron sights are just, it, it's, it's, it's just not the same. You, the sights, the optics just help you get those headshots so much easier and it's just what I recommend. It's not necessary, but I'd recommend it to help you get those headshots. And then after that the rest is just learning to get your accuracy learning to aim for the head and after that the challenges are really easy the challenges you can get done in a handful of games like two three games at the most I mean maybe you, you might struggle with <laughs> getting bloodthirsties or double kills if anything maybe you're not the right level to get the six attachments but other than that it, it's really not going to take you too long to get the challenges done so yeah all you have to do is get used to getting headshots playing hardcore and uh, while you're playing hardcore it actually makes you a better player too because once you get used to dying in one shot one two shots so much when you get back to core it is like it's it's just a big difference. I couldn't even explain if I wanted to. Just once you try it out, you'll notice. Cause I never play hardcore, and after playing so much hardcore to get these headshots, it's just ridiculous how different core feels like. It's just you just have to find out for yourself. Once you take these tips into your consideration, I hope they help you out. But this is next gen signing out. Good luck getting dark matter to anybody who is trying to get it. I'm getting it too, so you'll see my adventures in my videos. You'll see a lot more variety in my guns too. But this is Next Gen signing out. Like, favorite, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.